Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. This video onwards, we are going to discuss on classification, which again falls under supervised learning. So let's get started without wasting our time more. If you remember, we have already discussed machine learning and its different types in the previous videos. If not watched, please go and watch those videos first. We have already seen different types of machine learning algorithms till now discussed linear regression and its different types in detail. If not watched those videos on linear regression, I urge you to watch these videos first in the series, then you will be understand this video onwards. I'll put the link in the description and in the I button. So uh, we are here in the supervised learning. In the machine learning, there are three types, supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement. We have started with supervised learning where right answers are given and we need to find more right ones. So believe me, classification under supervised learning is the most famous machine learning technique, which helps you to classify the results based on the past data, which is given during the training. Just to understand the differentiation between regression and classification, look at this diagram. On the right hand side, you have regression where we draw a best fitting line over the data. Provided the data needs to be in linear fashion so that we can draw a best fitting line over all the data points so that we can find out the continuous values. Whereas in case of classification on the left hand side, you can see we are again drawing a line, but this time line is not to best fit on the data, but to divide the data into two parts to classify the data into two parts. In regression, we draw a line to best fit over the data to find out the next continuous values. And in classification, we draw a line to divide the data so that we can find out where does the new data point will fall, whether in the green one or the sky blue one, which part will it fall, right? So classification is to divide the data into two parts or three or four, whatever. In simple words, regression helps you to find out the next continuous values. Classification helps you to find out the classes, the division, the type one or two high or low, big or small, whatever it helps you to classify the data. So this diagram shows how does machine draws a line so that it can classify the data into the two parts into the red and into the blue. So this line is drawn by the machine so that it can divide it can classify the data. That's what the classification algorithm is all about, right? Drawing a line, but this time it is not to best fit over the data. This time it is to divide the data to classify the data. Okay. You see something called as epochs here. So don't worry about it. So as you keep training your neural networks, you provide more and more epochs, your machine learning becomes more and more accurate. I mean, in general, right? So how does this work? We'll see this in the upcoming next series is that is in the deep learning. But for now, let's only focus on the classification model. Okay, so you might be confused between which algorithm to choose, right? Let me quickly revise this one. We have seen this already in detail in some other videos in the prior videos. But for now, let's quickly revise this, right? Supervised and unsupervised. These are the two types in machine learning. Supervised learning is all about right answers are given. You need to find more right ones. So you have the data already available. You train on that data with the Y, I mean, with the output. So machine will understand for this input, what will be the output, right? Based on that, it will predict the future inputs given to the machine. That's the supervised learning. Unsupervised, there will not be right answers. You'll have the data but you will not have Y column. That is, you will not have the labels, right? Data is not labeled, right? So you'll find the insights. Machine learning will find the insights. It will form the clusters, so on and so forth. There are different types of algorithms in unsupervised. We'll discuss that later. But in supervised learning, we have already seen regression and we are on the classification. What is regression? Regression is drawing a line, right? To predict the continuous values, drawing a best fit line over the data to produce the continuous values to predict the continuous values. Classification is again drawing a line, but this is to divide a data into different types where data has labels focus is more on the classes and not on the values focus is on the classes, not on the values. What I mean by continuous value and what I mean by classes and not values. Let's see some examples so that this becomes more clear to you. But before I proceed for the classification examples, let me show you what all types of algorithms we have under the classification. 
okay so which are algorithms we can practically implement so that i can achieve classification right that's what i'm gonna show you if you see here in the classification algorithms we have about six to seven most popular famous well-known used algorithms in machine learning one of them is logistic regression and this is what we will be seeing the demo in the next video and other than that we have newbies we have decision tree we have random forest we have k nearest neighbors we have support vector machine we have stochastic gradient descent there are n number of algorithms we have more than this but these are the most famous ones okay we are going to see all of these but for now logistic regression is our focus okay so you may be confused by looking at the regression word here right because we have already seen linear regression but linear regression and logistic regression these are completely two different algorithms linear regression is for drawing a line over the linear data to best fit over the data okay logistic regression is to draw a line to classify the data i know that this is a bit confusing for now just understand that Logistic regression and linear regression both draws the line, but the way they draw a line is different. Okay, how it is different? Let's see some examples so that it will be more clearer for you. So what I mean by continuous values and what I mean by classes, let me give you a simple example here. If I want to tell you a temperature in the town, I would say it is 27 degrees Celsius, 28 degrees Celsius, 23, 24. I'll give you exact number and the continuous value right so if i give you a value if i give you a number that means you're talking about the exact continuous value 27 28 29 30 so based on this data model will be trained but in case of classification if i say you like this the temperature in the town is cold temperature in the town is very hot it's warm it's cool right i'm talking about a generic terms i'm talking about the classes i'm talking about the divisions here right and not the exact values so when you give the classes the temperature is cool the temperature is hot this means what these are classes cool and hot these are classes right these are not the continuous values so when you give the classes that means it is a classification problem right so same example based on the problem statement you can decide whether you want to go for linear regression or whether you want to go for classification right it is that simple Let's see some more examples. We have already seen housing price prediction example in the linear regression algorithms, how it can become a classification problem. Let's understand that. If you remember, I told you the size of the house is given. So what will be the cost of the house? This is the simple problem statement, right? So in particular town, let's say 1000 square feet house cost $70,000, $60,000, $80,000, right? So based on this data, based on the size, the prices are given okay size and the prices are given you train the model based on the size and the price of the house and if any new size you provide input to the model it will predict what will be the approximate cost of the house right it will give you the value there it is the continuous value right that is a linear regression now if i say based on this price based on fifty thousand dollars sixty thousand dollars let's say eighty thousand dollars the size you can get is small to medium right so these these are what these are classes right if i say size of the house will be small medium large these are the classes and i'm not talking about the exact square feet here exact square feet is a continuous value and giving the classes is the classification simple right oh this is one of the most popular example in classification we see this example on the daily basis on our gmail on your mailbox right there are some classifiers provided right so classifier is nothing but the mailbox which classifies whether the given email is a spam or not spam so it looks for the content of the email and based on the previous data it will classify whether it is a spam or whether it is a not spam based on that it will put into the spam folder okay nowadays we have more filters if you have noticed right important primary secondary social etc etc okay so all these emails are categorized based on the filters based on the classes right so it's again a very nice classification example one more very famous example it is about the cancer data right on x-axis the tumor size is given and on y-axis age is given and when i plot this data this is how the data looks like so what i have here 
is the harmless tumors and harmful tumors the red ones are harmless and the green ones are harmful tumors right and when i plot this is how it looks so this is not a linear data right it looks linear but it is not exactly linear so this is not a linear problem here so we want to predict whether the tumor is harmless or harmful right so we are again talking about the classes so suddenly by looking at this i should say that this is a classification problem and not regression problem right linear regression problem okay so here how will you divide the data right just by looking at the data you know what i told you in the prior videos when you get the data plot the data so when you plot the data you'll easily understand the insights you'll easily understand what type of algorithm can be used can be chosen for this kind of data isn't it it's very simple if i draw a line like this that will be a better classification right so that if anything falls above this line will be a harmful and any data point fall below this line will be a harmless tumor it's that simple you may also see there are some wrong predictions right so this these are what these are outliers okay so you don't have to worry about it the machine learning is not about the 100 percent accuracy but you can predict that this patient has 80 percent chances of harmful tumor or harmless tumor whatever so you predict it in the percentage it is not about 100 percent accuracy right okay let's see uh, one more last example and we are going to see a demo on that as well and this example is very very famous and this is the example we are going to see again and again so it's very important to understand this right the data set is popularly called as iris data set so this is a flower data set there are three species of the flower called iris what are the species the setosa versicolor and virginica these are the three types of flowers which are given so you can easily guess what we want to do here so once you have the data for setosa versicolor and virginica you train the model based on the data based on the past data given of three different types three different species and in future when machine learning model sees the new data it will easily predict whether the given input is of type setosa versicolor or virginica so this is again classification right you are again dividing, you are again finding out the classes. Okay, so this is the typical machine learning classification problem. Alright, I think uh, enough of the examples. I hope you understood when classification and when regression under supervised learning. I hope you like our content and uh, you enjoy the content. And if you find any values, make sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Okay, so that's it for this video. See you in the next. Thank you.